Okay, Lee, let's get started. Yeah. So I just want to introduce Lee Taylor, Lee Bo. You say hello. Hello. <laughs> Good to see you, mate. I haven't seen you for a while. Can I, can I look at you, Tim? You can either look at this way or you can look at the camera. Yeah. It doesn't really matter. I've just right. got a few questions. I'm just going to start from the beginning, really. Yeah, sure thing. All right, mate. So where was you when you grew up? What whereabouts was you living and in the school that you went to when you was a nipper? I was, I was born at North Wales State in 1968, 18, 10, Barbara New. But my mum and dad got a got an house down Newland when I was about four. My dad was a fisherman. He had, he got, he had a bit of money then and we got a terraced house. And uh, I grew up down Newland, went to Sidmouth School. And uh, after that, I went to Calvin School, same school as Tim here. And, uh, Kind of got into hip hop, more or less like just when I left school, eighty four, bang on eighty four. Although it was doing a bit before, you know, I was you know I was into robotics and going on Maris with John Axey and a couple of lads from Newland and my, my brother and we, we was all kind of like learning early breakdance moves before, you know, really any anything really. Any yeah, because you was you was living sort of off Newland Ave for one time, weren't you? Because I I came to your house at one time. Yeah, down Edge Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was more or less like yeah, pretty much the centre opposite Grafton Street. So what? what uh, uh, when did you leave home? Hey. I, I got I got I got a couple of flats like you know around Newland area. Hey. One of them was a dab. It was a total dab down down Bed Road. And used to, you know, I kind of like, I quickly wanted to get some decks and, you know, I wanted to sort of like kind of upgrade myself really, try and learn how to, you know, like keep out of poverty and uh, kind of like, you know, like have an healthy lifestyle, you know, yeah. try and kind of get up the streets and, you know, kind of like you know, enjoy hip hop really and add to it. Yeah, you know? so when did you become aware of hip hop then? Because like, for yeah. me it was... I know when it was for me because I was watching Beat Street at, yeah. at Cecil in 1984 and yeah. I just thought that it was speeded up when I watched the battle because it looked too fast to me and I couldn't believe it was real. Well, and me, that was got, yeah. got, got me into it. Yeah, well, yeah. I don't really know when you actually got into hip hop. When was that? Malcolm McLaren, uh, type of time, uh, about 82, 83, uh, Step Off, Grandmaster Flash, you know. Uh, yeah. Melly Mel. Melly Mel. Yeah, early tunes, you know, like, sort of, you could tell someone was in the air, there was a lot of energy in the air, and something yeah. was going to happen, really. Because was, I always remember when, um, I think, Alba Mal Youth Club, I think Darren yeah, Goldberg yeah. was DJing there, and I remember listening to Step Off. Yeah, yeah. Break, there was people breaking there, weren't they, in yeah, town. We used to get the bus into town and, and, that's right, and yeah. go there. It was a boxing club as well, wasn't it? Yeah. That's why I met um, uh, DJ Redlock. Uh, uh, David Quasier yeah. that started Street Wrecking Posse off. He also met another character called Phil Hilton, you know, from My yeah. Breakers. Yeah, I, still, Park. I still speak to Phil on, yeah. on Twitter. Yeah, and I, yeah, uh, you know, kind of like, you know, once got down in Pearson's Park with Miami Breakers, I watched MOTDF versus Street Wrecking Posse at Peppermint Park. Yeah. Battle once with Phil. And I uh, also watched Street Elite, you know. The New England club, you know, like kind of like breaking, and I was really interested in, in hip hop, and I just kind of respected all all the elements of, of hip hop really at the time. So, you know, with the, with the elements, the yeah. four elements, mm. is there anything that really stands out as in you you, you preferred, or did you did you like all of it? Because I, like, I know you do break yeah. dancing, you're an MC, yeah, you're a graffiti artist, graffiti in, yeah, you, you know, yeah. you've done MC and DJ in the lot, so. Was one? Did you just stick to one back in the day, or was you doing a bit of everything? I was doing a bit of everything at first. Yeah. I really was, yeah. Uh, uh, very big, eight, from about eight, 84, 85, 86, right until really the beginning of the DRA, and then it was just like rapping and graffiti more or less. Yeah. And break down to the dad out kind of thing. Although we still wanted to break. We but, still did something yeah, like 87, still, didn't we? We were yeah. still getting down now and again. Still but getting down. Won't, we weren't really battling our Queen's yeah. Gardens and everything had really yeah. calmed down, hadn't it? It seemed to be like following like the, the rap jams and was trying to get out to York and bridge, weren't we? And like kind of like, just like kind of like, you knowing all this stuff was going on with, you know, with the uh, Goldie and turning up at Bridlington and, you know, yeah, yeah. Missed one and stuff like that. So it seemed to be, like graffiti was like really big, you know, kind of thing, you know. Yeah. So 
I wanted to be a writer kind of thing. So was you more than ever. with your writing, was you doing drawings a lot at home? Was you sketching and scribbling as we yeah, used well, to call it? And because yeah. obviously you don't just go straight on to painting, do you? You're obviously doing drawings and stuff and art. Yeah, it's good to do an outline first, really, so you know what's going on. You know. So was you always a little bit of a scribbler when yeah, you were doing? I was, I was always scribbler, doing. Yeah, I was always yeah. like all right at art. You know, I mean, I could cop at first copying things at school. You know, things out of there. Uh, Superman comics, you know, getting yeah. the proportion of the bodies right and stuff like that. And then trying to turn, turn them round so you had your own position and stuff like that. Yeah. You know, with, with, with characters and stuff like that. And inventing your own characters is a good thing as well. Yeah, it's the way to do it. Yeah, although I did copy characters as well and popped them in, you know, like as using Asterix and a... Uh, what other characters do you use? I used the British Bulldog, you know, like with boxer for like, you know, toys piece, yeah. you know, on on their tag part. And uh, I quickly just enjoyed sort of like doing the lettering and using characters, like a bit like scene really kind of thing, yeah. you know, where you just kind of... Uh, so when did you first meet Terry and all them guys, Tinker and Pinky and... Oh, te te Terry was like more or less like... School, we sang about in New Orleans, you know, before yeah. we was like kind of into hip hop and uh, we were riding our bikes really and just sort of like kind of getting to know New Orleans and going on bomb building areas and you know, kind so of. Was you breaking a lot then? No, this was like before really. This was like before when, you know, like we were sort of like kind of like. Before hip hop started really. Yeah. You know, kind of thing. So a long friendship then? Yeah, just like be, being friends, you know what I mean? You know, like street friends sort of thing. Get, doing bonfires and things at bonfire night and, you know, uh, learning about kind of like what was going on on the streets and stuff like that. And learning about who was in the student area as well and that, you know what I mean? So yeah. there was a lot of like new people about and uh, kind of like trying to keep out of crime and trouble and stuff like that at the beginning, really. So did you have the youth clubs that you could go to then? I mean, I know that yeah, we, yeah. we saw you at Wyke a lot, yeah, but Wyke. I'm sure there was a different youth club I, I went to a few times, just off Newland Dab, I think, yeah, we but, saw you around yeah, there. Yeah, New, Newland, Newland Club was a good club, Yeah. Uh, down Reynoldson Street, then there was uh, like Maris Disco, Maris, you know, like a disco club kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, Wyke, of course, and it, 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 I'm going, you know, trying to get into town and going to Alban House, everybody wanted to be a townie or yeah, yeah, everybody yeah. wanted to, like, to learn new, you know, new areas and everybody wanted to go clubbing really. Yeah. yeah. Everybody wanted to be in the club. So did you go to Queen's Gardens then? Because it seemed like every breaker back in the day was in Queen's Gardens. Yeah. Um, Queen's... I know you went to Pearson Park a little a, a yeah, yeah. later day. Wherever the breakers was going to be. Wherever there was going to be a ghetto blaster and that, I wanted to be there. Yeah, and that, was, then, that was exactly the same. Yeah, you know, where the you know, people back, you know, dancing and enjoying themselves. First, first of all, it was Marriage College for me, then it was um, Persons Park, and uh, Quinn's Gardens with uh, Bassey and Mossy and uh, Street Wreck and Posse also. Yeah. The weather was like there at the time, you know, I was like, uh, I wasn't really in a breakdown crew. But I enjoyed like kind of being a writer, you know, and like kind of like cutting electro stickers out and putting them on my blaster and flexing yeah. the tunes and stuff like that. That was the way of life back then. Yeah, yeah, do anything to do with hip hop really. I was just mad about, you know, kind of thing. Really wanted to be in a breakdown school though. I was going to ask you that as a question, like, yeah. was you in any crews? Because not a proper. I never ever remember one. you being in in a, in a crew. I was, I was with Maris Breakers, which was like was just like. Guys from like X Mouth Street is swung around Maris. We'd have a game of football one night like, and then we'd like go get the line out and stuff. We won't, yeah. you know, they, they weren't really serious. I was more serious than them. So I, I thought, well, I start like writing more, you know, and I started doing graffiti at the back of Maris, you know. So I've become more of a graffiti artist more than a, a breaker, even, even yeah. though I like breaking. And then you just got down when you saw everybody. Yeah, I got down when I saw, saw Sonic and that. I thought, well, you know, here's my chance to sort of kind of like, you know, get used to that or kind of like, you know, see what it's about and learn the books and stuff like that. So where was the places that you was doing your graffiti mainly? Because yeah. I can only go by when, when like, Newell and Dav and, and what we was talking about earlier near the drain. Along, and, uh, the, along the Brit Railway land yeah. really, Fitzroy Street, uh, Salt, Salisbury, Salisbury Drain, uh, and then there was Maris College, which, you know, that was, that was before that. And then, uh, 
tag park and old garage, craft and garage. I was just going to say tag yeah. park because yeah. to me tag park always seems a little bit later on. Mm. But was it was that around eighty six eighty seven tag park? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. Crash Custom Terry and Jody before the IRA, they they done a piece called Death Fresh, and uh, the DRA crew started from Crash Custom, which was Equal and Shade. Yeah. Atom Bombers, which was Pinky Joker and uh, Two Riff and Trop. And then um, RTA, which was me and Primo, Bill, you know, yeah, like yeah. kind of, so it, like, kind of like started like on tag, on, on tag Park, or Grafton and Garage, about 86, beginning of 86. But before that, there was like kind of like pieces going up, you know, yeah. like by other writers and stuff like that, not just me. And uh, I got really interested in, you know, some of Pinky's work and, you know, like the, the fact that, you know, there was other crews about, there was people, do, you know, doing pieces and stuff like that. And I, I really wanted to, you know, kind of like do better pieces, you know, with the right people and stuff like that. I was that. just going to say, did anybody else influ influence you or was you just doing like your own style or did you all just like buzz oh, off each other? Yeah, off everybody. Yeah, I got influenced by a, another writer from Sheffield. I, when we were looking for our records, We'd go to Sheffield and yeah. we'd go to Leeds. And like, I'd come across this area called Kelvin Flats, which was near Hillsborough in Sheffield. And I met Easel and like, kind of looked at all his work. All his work was like, kind of like, just bombed all of And Sheffield was the most bombed city then, you know, like graffiti yeah. and that. So I'd go to Sheffield a lot. We always used to be able yeah. to farm pieces, even when we were at record shopping, I remember. Yeah, there was like pieces all over, not in yeah. as well. Leeds aren't that much, so not much repeat in Leeds and you know, but like yeah. you know, Sheffield, not in them, London, we go to London. I think we'll like to go to Sheffield because there was yeah. a Roxy there. Yeah, Roxy. <laughs> I got a photograph of Roxy. On the Roxy. Yeah, 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 the bus station. Carol Jack. Beat Street again. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. There was a the Rock City in Nottingham as well. Yeah, man. So just yeah. taking you to the DJ side of things, because yeah. obviously I'm interested in that. So yeah. where did you when did you start buying records and? Did you always have a pair of decks or was that a little bit later? Hey, uh, I got some of our RSC decks. Hey, uh, do you know, without a mixer, you couldn't use a mixer with them. You could just like yeah. mix at the end, you know. I got a pair of RSC decks. Same as Terry had, you know, New Orleans Homes, with speakers and stuff. And uh, I just like, I put me Mark and McLaren, like Buffalo Girls, because that, that come out a bit earlier, didn't it? Yeah, I was the same with the seven yeah, inches. Yeah, yeah. But I, I, a, a couple of records, I feel, you know, kind of, yeah. uh, stuff and records of like that, that. Yeah, yeah, popcorn, yeah, yeah. I, I, I buy 70s type sort of funk records, like, just to sort of fill it up a bit and try and mix with it, you know, because if there weren't enough sounds then, you couldn't really get like enough like, good records in all either, we had to like kind of like order records, didn't we? And, yeah, like, and they didn't of, always turn up, did they? No, no, but I did that, I, I remember ordering 808 beats and I was really chuffed that for me. Yeah, I, I tried getting there uh, fast life, and I ended up, I ended up with hard speech. <laughs> uh, Doctor Jekyll and Mister Hard. I always remember we used to re read Record Mirror and things, yeah. and they had an electro top ten. Oh yeah. So we wouldn't even know what the records were, and we'd re we'd be ordering like five of those out of the top ten, just on just being going in blind, really, yeah. just being like, yeah, we don't not even know what it's like until it comes. But nine times out of ten, there was always good records. Do you remember the street scene? Sir? Yeah. Street scene. Oh wow! Well, you just get that in a, new, a newspaper shop, so the bottom don't, yeah. you know, kind yeah. of like like a. I wonder if that's anything so to do with street sounds. And there was like the the, the, the Groove Records sales charts, weren't they? Yeah. By uh, Groove Records. Yeah. Uh, Mike Allen. Yeah. And I remember like looking at the the hip hop charts, and I was just like, amazed, you know, that there was like such a chart, you know, for you know the music I really loved. You know what I mean? Although I couldn't get out of the end of the record. I had to like kind of you know go to Leeds and and Sheffield to try and get these records. I wanted to actually like find the record and look at the record more yeah. and order it. You know, what but I mean? we were so like lucky because upon it. I think we was really lucky because of the Electro albums when they came out. Oh, yeah. all, all the tunes was amazing. All the tunes was so great. We we was always guaranteed to get a copy of an Electro in Hull from yeah, since, yeah. since Sid Scarborough always yeah. had the Electros. We could get the Electros, yeah. And that Electro that. box set was on the wall in Sid Scarborough's for about forty quid, and it was there for how many oh, years? And oh, nobody yeah, bought yeah. it because they thought it was extortionate. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. I've got one now, and I paid yeah. one hundred and twenty-five quid for the box set. Yeah, you, you got that? Yeah, I've got the box yeah, set. Yeah. It's up there. Oh wow. 
I just I just collect them and then they just sit there and mm. like I never really play them. Yeah, yeah. But but you've got it's just like I can't I never get rid of them. Nostalgia, isn't it? Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. It's good back in the day and stuff. So we mentioned the Brid Graffiti Festival earlier on. Yeah. So I was just wondering earlier when I was thinking about the the festival we we yeah. met Goldie and it was Mud Two was judging I think as well. Mud Two, yeah. yeah. Brown and that one, they Chrome and, Angel. And did you go down on the train? Because I think I think Terry actually biked. To Terry biked it. He biked from Hull to Bridlington. He so did that's, bike it. That's that's sad. Yeah, I admire him for that. <laughs> that's hardcore. That is. Nice. I remember Dean and Andy being on the train, but I can't remember if I actually got the train with them. He had a Kangol, didn't he? Did he, he had a Kangol. Red, that. Didn't he have a red Kangol? Yeah. 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 That was Death D, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and a few of them was with him as well. Yeah, yeah I was on the trip. Was with him. I, I was just up. remember the whole city, it all got tagged, didn't it? Do you remember those three brids, though? Do you remember the, the, the two? Remember with Star Stars when we battled Star Stars? Star no. Stars. Do you remember we had a breakdance battle on one of them? No. I think it was the second one. The first, the first brid was in the station where it was that deep, it was a devious piece with T Kid and stuff like that. Yeah. That was the one I didn't go to. Pinky went to that one. I went to the second and the third one. The second one was, uh, I think, South. There was one that was actually filmed because it was on yeah. TV, wasn't it? Yeah, sponsored by Street, street Scene, wasn't it? Yeah, could well be. I think it was Street Scene. Not, not the not the free hip hop newspaper. It was like a kind of like a project we were doing in Brit. It's called Street Scene. And uh, that was that was that one that was the big one with the Chrome Angels and yeah. uh, Lockis from yeah. France. Vulcan was there. Yeah, that was it. Vulcan uh, was on John, the TV. John Warm, well, yeah. John Warm. Yeah. There was um, and of course like Goldie and. Uh, well, that's the first time we met Goldie because I remember yeah, yeah. Us, I remember us stood talking to him and yeah. he was he was a bit reckless then. I think he was fighting that day. He got into a fight with somebody. Oh, did he? But, yeah, Goldie and Birdie. That was in spread yeah, out. Yeah, way they? before he was doing the drum and bass thing. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. we met quite a few people. 3D as well, weren't yeah, they? Yeah, it was pre- massive attack. 3D. Yeah. He was painting money yeah, yeah, as well. Yeah, 3D. He was. Yeah, yeah. Forget he about. Just, you just forget 3D. about things like that. It was Pops there as well? Pops there from not sure. I don't know. Remember Lockers with his like piece with the middle, you know, and like slices coming out of that. Yeah. Yeah, it's good to see like kind of like proper street art, like in, you know, in our own area as well, in the yeah. north east, and there it was, like you know. But they had, like, they had inside, one of them. They had an inside area, and they had DJs on and skateboarders, BMXs yeah. and stuff. It was really good. It was, wasn't it? Yeah. We found a good, good few tunes. Yeah, it was good. It was through summer as well, wasn't it? Yeah. So just summer. just going back to the tag yeah. park thing. Yeah. So, I know it was behind Paul Heaton's house, wasn't it? Yeah, that's There was right, a rumour yeah. that Norman Cook had actually done a piece oh, on yeah. Tag Park and I think Terry had said that he'd, he wasn't happy with Terry because Terry had gone over his piece at some at one yeah, point. They, yeah, forget about them. They did crazy, yeah. they did crazy babies. Yeah, and and Terry's told me about it before. Yeah. It just makes me chuckle, the yeah. fact that Terry went over it. Or he didn't go over it. Maybe he did or he didn't, but I think Norman thought he had. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so he wasn't happy. Over his death brush on, yeah. on the wall. Yeah, that's, that's, what, that's what was underneath it. Yeah. Yeah, that was uh, Crash Custom, wasn't it? There was also Jazz as well, wasn't it? Speedy. I think Norman Cook was to the way that down back of the uh, World Eggs, you know what I mean? There was like a couple of pieces by them. Yeah. Kind of thing. And uh, Pinky did dudes as well. He did a he did a piece on Lecky Board, Bed Road near you know near the drain. Yeah. It called Dudes. And uh, that was quite early as well. I admired him for that. Yeah. And that was the time when I I, I did chaos on track. Oh, yeah, 86, beginning of 86. Yeah. Hey, I was like doing pieces on track when I met Quaz, you know, and he watched me do the piece, they were crazy. Yeah, didn't uh, get any trouble, nobody rock. trying to boot you off? No, no, it seemed to be all right with everybody. Have you ever had any trouble? Yeah, yeah, I've had my cancer. I've, I've been nicked before for it. Yeah, yeah, I can yeah, imagine. Being shared, shared up, yeah. We, we had all cancer Because it went through that era of uh, sort of vandalism and yeah, didn't yeah. really appreciate Yeah, yeah, it was like the beginning, wasn't it? Yeah. That yeah, kind of thing when we were starting off. Yeah, but I've, I've, I've been nicked for it before and stuff like that. And uh, you kind of just keep going though. Yeah. And try and write somewhere else, you know, like you're not going to get caught at. And then like kind of like, you know, kind of test the water sort of thing. Did you find it easier going from like a pen tagging and stuff to doing spray spray painting? Eh, uh, I found sp- spray painting just like kind of like, you know, it was just totally me, you know yeah. what I mean? 
Yeah, you've more control and you can shade things in and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. I just wondered, because obviously there's I'm tight, not... There's tight caps and thick caps you can put on and stuff like that. Good. Kind of thing. You know, although I wasn't just like doing like, graffiti, I was like, you know, writing lyrics as well, do you know what I mean? And trying to create beat patterns, you know, with my decks and stuff yeah, like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, so I remember, so, I you, remember know, you had the old Ghetto Blaster, the big one, and, yeah, and yeah. you used to always play your mixes, didn't you? And there was very random records. Yeah, yeah random records. Oh, I'd try and mix it live on that sharp well, one. Well, we was always doing then. pause button mixes back in the day, yeah, weren't we? Yeah, so. pause mixes. Yeah. Yeah, Tim, well, well, well said, because yeah, yeah, I remember doing Paul. Yeah, but that's the only thing we had, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, Paul. Had a big hi fi system, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. There was no way of mixing the, the music, was there? You know, no, like, no, no. I mean, like, you know, I was, I was you know, lucky enough to get that, like, a uh, member X off you, weren't I? Yeah. Kind of thing. That, that was a good little Dexter style. It was, I think, Dean and Andy had a pair as well, I think. Yeah. yeah they yeah. must have come out with the Argos catalogue or something, because we all yeah, got a pair. Didn't they? Yeah, yeah, like Tandy, like that. Yeah. Tandy was good shop, wasn't it? Yeah, and that's uh, a mixer and that from there. Memorex Decks, uh, what, what realistic mixer. Realistic mixer, that's right, yeah. yeah. yeah I think yeah. everybody started off with that because it was mm. the budget. That's what exactly what I was on, Tim. Yeah. I mean, budget. I didn't have a lot of money, but. but it's funny how we weren't out to still, still, we still weren't out to DJ on that equipment. I know. <laughs> I know. You can still, you know, pull up a brilliant mix on, 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 on Memorex. That's true. Put a penny on, do you know what I mean? Are any your pieces still up now? Some of the older ones, I mean. Yeah, there's, there's one on Lonsdale Community Centre still up. Because yeah. like, I did that on Scaffold and it's quite high up. And yeah. nobody's been able to get over it. So I've got a piece up there. I've got a piece in town, uh, beginning of town, where the university sort of area is. Yeah. You know, uh, cobblestone bit. Uh, opposite the old Clifford Dunn's, you know, like, opposite the hotel. There's like kind of like a piece I've done like a Lee, Lee T DRA piece on there. I did that with Dan. Yeah. That was about two years ago. Yeah. What uh, about some of the really older pieces? Anything older la pieces. Has anything lasted? Because they don't seem to like last very long. No, they do don't. People go over them. They go over them and then they just uh, fade away, don't they? Grafton FC, that's faded away. Yeah. Grafton FC one. I did put the Grafton FC two. Uh, I don't quite know. Out on railway tracks now. No, I don't think there's any, I've, I've got any more pieces up here. Yeah, I think, you know, I need to, you know, get my ass moving. The thing is, you probably don't go around those areas to check anyway, so. Yeah, right. at, the, at the moment, I had any spare money and stuff like that, really. I'm lacking a bit of eyesight, so. Yeah. I'm sort of like kind of struggling a bit. So, how, how many pieces do you think you've done over the years? I'd say about. Are we talking in the hundreds or not I'd, as many? I'd say more, yeah. Yeah. I'd say more. I'd say about two, yeah, getting over two hundred, over hundred. Yeah. Yeah, I would. Yeah. That's I'd a lot of pieces. Because yeah. I was thinking, you know, I got some hundred maybe. It's a oh, lot. Yeah. Yeah, I've, I've done about that. And then I've, I've done like kind of like things on boards and t-shirts and things like that, kind of thing. So, yeah. Like, yeah, I've been quite busy really. I'm, I'm glad I did things when you know a year when I when I did to that then. Absolutely. Yeah, I really, it just really seems like really different, different times. Yeah. Even even with the battles and stuff, yeah. with the DJ battles, the yeah. MC battles. Yeah. Did you ever do any MC battling? Hey, uh, have I done an MC battle? Was I, there any graffiti I, I, battles and stuff or anything like that? Because I know there was always DJ battles yeah, and MC yeah. battles, but I didn't know if there was any graffiti battles. Graffiti battles? No, they're doing, some up, they're doing more now, I suppose, when yeah, they put yeah. the boards up and things like that. Yeah, so. people are just sort of like writing, like, you know, and trying to bring out the best piece in front of each other. Yeah. It's, it's funny on graffiti, it's like big, you know, right, you seem to leave each other alone a bit, you know, it's, cause it's a bit more like kind of tranquil, isn't it? Yeah. I think that, you know, it's a kind of like least sort of like contact, like thing with one going, you know what I mean? More, more than like rapping and stuff like that, you've got to be on the ball. Whereas like graffiti, you're more or less like kind of tunnel vision, like trying to like do your, you know, your outline, you know what I mean? Yeah. And no matter if it takes twice as long as the, the right next to you, kind of thing. So even if he's trying to battle you, you still like kind of you're on your own like journey yeah. through it all kind of thing, just to get it right kind of thing. But I suppose he has been like kind of battle, but I haven't been involved with a graffiti battle or like a struggle, you know, where like kind of someone's been trying to beat me all the time. I've been lucky that way, but I'm sure it's happened before though. Yeah, there's been battles, yeah. Been so, what, so with the DRA thing, then how long did that that last? I mean, I know it's still yeah, yeah. sort of going, isn't it? It's still sort of like going. We just left it alone, really. Yeah. New members have just joined it and they're kind of like keeping yeah. it going, and you know, like kind of like you know, like 
No, stuff, still getting up. I mean, DRA got up this year in town and there was sort of Pinky did a piece, you know, and he's DRA still. Yeah. I did a lead team, I put DRA. Dan did, Dan did a piece, he, he put DRA. So we're still, yeah, DRA's still going strong, really. Yeah, this yeah. Year, yeah. That's good. Yeah, is yeah. there any, this year. is there any graffiti artists around now that you like? Uh, in this city? Yeah, like, uh, he cut, he, he, he still, I think he's put a lot of time and effort into his work. He's sort of, uh, like, spinning out outlines and stuff like that. So he's, like, kind of working on, like, kind of, you know, really working on his work. Who's doing all those pieces up on Wincombe Lee and around there? Then, cause oh, loads, a lot of these still writers. Is it? So like, they're, they're a, not... lot, a lot more still writers now. Yeah. There's a lot of new write, more, more writers now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're totally bombed on there. They're not in DRA. Yeah, I mean, they're like kind of just doing like crews and stuff yeah. like that. I think it, it looks just, nice down there. It just triggered it all off. Yeah. Yeah. It's amazing how many pieces is, isn't it? It's amazing. You can just, even driving in your I, car. I, I, just like, wow. I know. I, I couldn't believe it myself. I got up a couple of times there as well, but the pieces have gone over. Kind of thing. Yeah. You know, while it was happening, like last last year, year before, every year the banks got up, didn't they, on that bridge? Yeah, it did, yeah. That attracted a lot of people to that area as yeah. well. You know, the fact that banks was getting up and stuff like that. The Lion Net Bank as well. And it's from the, the Bristol area, isn't it? It is, yeah. Bit of a mystery, that one. Same there, it was John Nation, I think. <laughs> so when you was breaking back in the day, did you find it easy to learn or? Or did you find it? I found break- we, we, we just all we just yeah. practice constantly every night. So I found breaking the hardest one of the lot. Yeah, because it was hard. It sort of like I felt like I, I wanted to try and beat it. You know, try and get that high wind mode, you know what I mean? Get, everybody was the same. Get, they yeah, get, so get the hard depth, to get yeah, that. to two depths, yeah. you know what I mean? And stuff yeah. like that. I mean. Uh, me yeah. and Terry always talk about that when we yeah, were swimming in the night. I, I learned about a week before Terry. And yeah. We still talk about it now. Yeah, it just, it yeah. just spared him on to just practice even harder. Yeah, yeah. He was doing it on grass and all sorts, so we didn't care, did we? Concrete. No, no. concrete. Yeah, yeah. You'd go down right for gate, he'd only last about half an hour before the police moved us on. I, I remember I remember you sold Sonic down down White Brigade when you know Yeah, we used to get massive crowds down, as soon as, down there, as soon yeah. as the crowds built up the police was there and it was moved on. I couldn't believe it, you know, we, 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 you know on the way back we'd go to Sid Scarbers and pick up a record, wouldn't we? And yeah. go on, like, you know what I mean? It was all just like the night. It was just on and off Queen's Gardens, weren't we? Yeah, just yeah, around. Just go, going to and from like Sid Scabs and you know, going for something to eat as well and, you know what I mean? And then you know then we'd meet the town this one way, you know what I mean? Yeah. And on their travels, you know what I mean? Well, we had to have get up blasted, didn't they? And yeah, yeah. You'd, you'd always sit here, see somebody carrying a get up yeah, blasted, yeah. and there'd be music going around the, around the city centre. And then there was these still, what was the Jagger and they... Eh, Mega, Uppie, was it Mega, Mega City Rockers? Was that Mega City, was it? Is that from Prague? Um, yeah, Preston Road. Yeah. I went went to Prague once. We thought, oh, and yeah, I went once. Yeah, we got we got, th- we got threatened to get, filled, to get filled in, so we yeah. didn't go again. You had a few hard times, didn't you? You had an hard time with something packed, didn't you? Uh, yeah, Telstar. Telstar, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We had yeah. a ba- we had a battle with the brands on pop lockers, I think. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, some guy just came up to us and said, "You don't know you're going to get filled in after." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so yeah. We all we all spread off. Was that in that Jumped up? on the bus. Yeah, yeah. Didn't they practice in that community centre near centre? Yeah. Like the back of it. Yeah. yeah, I remember. When you got the bus, you had to go by it near it, didn't you? We don't mind. It was still fun. No, no, I think taxi. me and Andy actually ran all the way home from Branson to Quadrant, where Andy was living on Quadrant. Oh, Quadrant. We ran all the way home. There? That must have been pretty fit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 16 or 17 years old. Wow, we just went <laughs> unbelievable, unbelievable time. Yeah. I remember the time, the feeling, you know what I mean? It was either sort of do it yourself in and be a townie and do you know what I mean, not give a shit or like, you know, kind of be a fresh shot like hip hop kit, you know, that guy, you yeah. know what I mean? And I, wouldn't, I thought, well. Well, the townies were more into the clothes, yeah, we, just, yeah. we just lived and died in our tracks. So yeah, yeah. Oh, well, you know, it's happening, you know, you could easily pick either one, do you know what I mean? There's like yeah. a lot of things, a lot of new things happening, weren't they? Yeah. At the town. Now, I kind of like went towards both sometimes I used to go to the city and you know, did our needle and stuff like that. And next minute I'd be going to wake, you know, with Terry, do you know what I mean? Yeah. You know, I kind of like, you know, left it open really. Although I didn't do myself. I think we had a lot of different options where to go though, didn't we? Yeah. We I was look- different places yeah. like every week. I was lucky I went into the drugs term. Yeah. Oh, you could do it, you could do it all because we were young, you know what I mean? If, you know, if you stayed off the hard drugs and that, it was alright then. Yeah. You could go to you could go to the city, go hang about in town as long as you didn't get into the trouble, do you know what I mean? Yeah. And you know, like kind of 
Not on the Townies used to watch the breakfast, didn't they? Yeah, they like, you know. used to stand there buzzing in their nice Farrah's and their nice expensive Adidas and, uh, Sambas and stuff like that. Well, Farrah's good for breakfast, isn't it? Yeah, we used to wear them at school. But Farrah's, yeah, I used to wear them at Calvary and Farrah's. Uh, so yeah. what, what do you think about hip-hop now? Hip-hop now, it's, it's kind of been mashed up that many times. That's we was only talking now, about the gymnastics, yeah, we were yeah. talking about MCs and... And we've mentioned graffiti, haven't we, and yeah. stuff like that, so... It's solidified, isn't it? It's sort of like thinned out. It's kind of, um It's got a lot, lot more, like, kind of new, like, elements to it. It's kind of gone, like... Gone in so many directions. Like, it kind of, like, it's been watered down. Yeah. Kind of thing. There's no, like, Do you listen to hip-hop uh, Underground element. Yeah. Are you a bit like me, just with the old-school stuff, still? I'm, I, I try and listen up for new stuff, but I want to be new. Yeah. I'm, I'm thinking new all the time, like, you know, like, oh, you know, there's got to be a new sound. Someone will grab me, do you know what I mean? With me, it's always just if the beats are good and the, mm. the MC's got a story to tell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If they've got a story to tell, it always makes it a lot, a lot better. I was me. trying to get into some of the brown stuff. I did get into it a little bit, do you know what I mean? Although it had, it's that Lon had that London sound, didn't it? Yeah. But I thought, well, fair enough, you know, London Posse, they had their style, they was London, do you know, this is like their style. Grounds like London style, do you know what I mean? Yeah. And uh, I thought, well, you know, can we invent our own like new style up north, you know what I mean? And I thought, well, uh, should we just like kind of like keep with the old school and stuff like that? And I'm, I'm still trying to find this like a new style, you know, like doing things, you know what I mean? Yeah. Good and stuff. Uh, no, I'm just keeping open, you know, like, and like kind of, I'm writing beats and stuff like that more now. I'm trying to wear, I'm at, I've got a PlayStation 2. And a music 2000 uh, software beat making uh, program, and I'm making beats and trying to do keys on the keyboard and strings and stuff like that. And I you probably might write around on like and, yeah, you know, yeah. that's what I'm, I'm going to do now. You know, with the hip hop and that, I'm going to like keep making beats. Like I, I made an album not so long back called uh, Was it Living on the Edge? Which was like town went to um, Cleveland, you know? Yeah, yeah, it's for the graffiti thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Excellent. Uh, I made some tunes. I'm gonna keep on making tunes and not not do so much rapping at all. Just do what you need to do. Even talk some at you know what I mean? No, kind of like do what you do, want. Do a album. Yeah, do a sample <laughs> mix. Yeah, just do samples of things. You know what I mean? So, so I need to ask you a question. Forward. I had this story about yeah. you ringing up. The Westwood show and rapping once. Oh, yeah. And I don't know if this is a true yeah. story or not, and they couldn't get you off. Yeah, I did. And you just carried on going and carried on going. It, it was all right with us at the end. J Jody was my witness, uh, equal, has two. Uh, it was through a telephone, normal hand line. So it was I, Radio 1 then, yeah, obviously? I, yeah, I got, them, I got them Radio 1. <laughs> and at the time, I recorded it, but I got my own equipment, Nick. Right. Tim, do you know, from all about out. I know I sold them like a couple of records one time, but I got my full collection Nick, from all that out. Which you know got I got broke into. Yeah. When I it's was happened like, a few times, doesn't it? You yeah. have to like start again. Yeah, I had to start again. But I had a recording of that, you know, on the tape, you know, like you Yeah, know. Terry told me that you had it recorded, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I got So was it a freestyle thing? Did you ring up and they ask you to do a freestyle? I did a bit of freestyle and I did them uh, them two rounds, you know, I did earlier on. Mm. Kind of thing. Right. I'm a leak, I'm number one, don't need to hide, don't need to run, you won't catch me carrying a gun, don't need to rob, don't need to steal, hang with the mob is no big deal, it's gonna be yourself, that's real for real. Rapping and competing ain't much apart, critics may say, well that ain't art, but I tell you homeboy, don't take it to the heart. The DRA is who I'm with, holds where to work, take it has got a good thing going, it's graffiti, don't like it, then well it's a pity. Well in this city, we're the best, take it and prove it out to wreck, be number one, town to town, I've won Hall of Fame is our quest. Let's put Hull on the map, it's on the East Coast with the Tigers play. So Sonic Break in the home of the D R A D D D D D D D D R A come on. D D D D I just broke into a freestyle from the bottom. Nice one, mate. And uh yeah, just like kind of Tim Westwood to the old and the new. Uh time to just keep it true. Four ounces of hip hop, don't make you blue. Keep on doing what you do. To bath tea, you mix a stew, if there's ever a thing. <laughs> that he can do. He takes his dog out for a walk. Nick is in the kitchen. I just like to say ho. So from Lee T in the place, I just like to rock to the base. I'll make a roll and shut up now. So come on. <laughs>
film. You've always been a good target. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So was I'm Westwood down with it? Was, he, was Westwood down with it? But yeah, it was alright. I just like freestyle like that more or less. And, you know, like, but I just kept going and going, do you know what I mean? And, uh, so I said, oh yeah, you, you know, you're getting up, you're getting up, and like everybody said, he just, just said, uh, well, and if you tell you're old school, do you know what I mean? Thanks, Lee T, do you know what I mean, Lee? Do you know what I mean? You know, keep yeah. on keep on doing what you're doing, do you know what I mean? And I was just rolled up, wasn't Excellent, good. I, got got up, that. Yeah. I had the story, I got then up. Terry told me you had the tip, but I've never actually yeah, heard it. I, I get on tip. It sounds, it sounds, sounds very much like something that you do. doing. It's something like I just did then. Like I, I did a round first and then I freestyled off it. Yeah. Kind of first. And I, I kept going, but then I did the completed one, do you know what I mean? I, yeah. I think you can cheat a little bit with freestyle because you can do a ram and you can like connect out yeah to you know to another piece of work you know but yeah that's what I did really kind of thing. So yeah. I've got some questions sent in by Joker. Yeah. He posted them through the door today, so I'm just going to read some of these these questions off. Yeah. So it's written here. Did did music have any in, in, inspiration on your pieces? Yeah, all the time. Yeah. Yeah, my head was always full of music, do you know what I mean? It was. I was I was always like kinda like I wanted to involve all the elements into like, you know, each element I was doing. You know, kind of thing. I wanted to like you carry that music on when you was painting, didn't you? Yeah, I did, yeah, yeah. I, I either a blast on or I'd listen to loads of tunes, you know, before that and go oh when I went back I'd put loads of tunes on, do you know what yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah. I had the music in my head and I was kinda like grooving to the beats, you know, while while, while I was pacing all the time, yeah. Good, good, good. And, and some of your mixes, Tim, you know, I'd be putting on, do you know what I mean? Yeah, well, like, the tapes, know, tapes went everywhere, didn't yeah. they, back then? I'd, I'd, I'd be playing some of your mixes that, you know, you've been doing. I'd be thinking of Soul Sonic, you know, like, kind of like getting down, do you know what I mean? You know, while I was pacing, do you know, on yeah. track, you know, I'd just sort of like, kind of like, it was like a, I was in like some kind of like, I felt as if I was in a story and I, I was like, Taking part in that hip hop story. That's great. You know what I mean? Go so, another that, question. That yeah. Where did Elite Attack come from? Elite come from Lee T. My name being like Lee Turler. And being a common name anyway, because I mean, there's, there's more Lees in the world than Lees, like any other name, because of the Chinese and stuff like that. Taylor's a common name. So, I thought, oh, let's make it interesting. And I just strummed, I just used the sort of like letters and put like, oh, I'll put an E in front of it. But I used it first the electric eel. That was one of my tags, you know, when I was like kind of into breaking. Yeah. Electric eel. And then it was like Lee T. At first started with Lee T. Then Lee T Rock. And then uh, Gaff Captain Rock, you know what I mean? I kind of mm -hmm. like, yeah. And also, you could get Electro or Lee T, Lee T Rock as well. And it's spelled Electro because like, you know, Electro is E L E C T R O. See, you know I mean? Electro, Elect Lee T. Rock. Got name Elite. Uh, Elite. I start, started off with I started off with E L I T E. Then I went to sort of like E L double E T. And then like put like a, a top on the T kind of thing. Excellent. So another question. Yeah. What was your first piece and where was it? First piece. The first piece was Rock San Shanta, uh, on Marriage College, and it was like with a brush. And uh, I just like Roxanne Shanty, I like, you know, like kind of like fair style, and I just put, did a Roxanne that was like joined all together. Shanty, you know, with the D at the end, the French thing. And I just did, did that as a piece, Roxanne Shanty. It's a bit, it's a bit weird for a piece, isn't it? Putting Roxanne Shanty, but I just want to get some up. Yeah, I just wanted to get some up, yeah. Because I did the lead T for them, and uh, after that I did Can You Wear That Funky Bee, a bit like Beach Street, and I come out of the blaster. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of like did that, which was a bite really. But, you know, I kind of like... Everybody was biting back then. I was, I was biting. I had a friend of mine who did a scene piece, he actually wrote a scene yeah, and yeah. just copied it. On Brick on, I think it was on Brick Nolan, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I remember it. It was the same colours as well, wasn't it? Yeah. It, was quite, it, it was all right. A bit scraggy, but it was all right. Who was it? Yeah. So... Good thing, it's a good, good letter, isn't it? What yeah. was your most... Favourite piece and why? I I go off rap is the word really. Um, I I was like kind of uh, I don't 
I don't know, Brad Brewster works. That's your like, favourite? It's one of my favourites because it's, it's all like a 3D, a caller. Yeah. And I used the lettering, you know, like kind of like, it's the thickness of the, the lettering. I used the, the corner of the wall for the thickness of the lettering. And uh, I like the arrow man on it as well and the pointing to the word. So was it Rappers more that it word. came out better that you thought it was going to come out? Yeah, it felt like kind of like, it was, it was quite a small piece as well. Yeah. Uh, obviously then you can do like stuff a lot bigger. Um, but it's one of my favourite pieces. Good. Because they like arrows as well. Good. So what was your inspiration behind the jigsaw puzzle piece? Funny, right? Do you know, like, it's like people were doing jigsaws in my family. My nan was doing jigsaws up Orchard Park. And my mum would buy us a jigsaw growing up and stuff. And I, I was just looking at it one day and thinking, it looked like E's or letters, you yeah. know, with bits missing. And I thought, well, I'll just try and do an alphabet, you know, jigsaw alphabet. So, just like the look of them, really. You know, I've like, seen that one, it's really, 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 really nice. nice. Yeah. It's a really nice piece. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, another question from Joker. Yeah. Who was your favourite collaboration piece with? Collaboration? Well, I've got with someone else. Mm. Um, I think British Standard Kings with Deep Ace, Ultra, and uh, Equal on Andrew Road under the flyover. British Standard Kings. Was that. Is that just because it works really well and you just it's really smooth and you managed to get it done quick, or was it just? We've got we've got watch by the coppers. We, we almost didn't get done. We yeah. kind of like we had had some trying to whitewash it. It just felt like real like we, 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 like we went on the night as well. It was a night piece, and you know, one one of the lads had got run over by a train. It was quite dangerous really on the way back. You know, so we got felt like kind of thought we was getting bothered. You know what I mean on the way back? Yeah. And like, you know, I mean, it was quite close to getting that, having an accident on the train. You know, I think it was D-Face. Uh, but we managed to get it done. I saw D-Face not so long ago, actually. Yeah, D-Face, yeah. Sends his, sends his regards. Yeah, he'll tell you about that. Yeah. He'll got, nearly got the wrong by the train. <laughs> so another question, and I don't, I've never heard this story before. Yeah. But it's, it's, the Joker's put, the story of Lee and Pinky in London, you yeah. know, they're getting mugged. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> God. What happened there? I know. Uh, this kid called Scam, right? He called Scam. He was like looking for some pieces, me and Pinky, and uh, this lad goes, Oh, some pieces around here. So we go, Oh, it's the, all oh, right, that you know I mean? It's a bit dubious, so far. it's a bit weird, go careful, you know what I mean? We was ready for sort of like summer, kind of, so it's an eight to Pinky, you know what I mean? You're careful, you know what I mean? And he's sort of like, he's sort of like checking his sleep like that. One of, one of these black kids, there was two black kids, there was a bit older than us, and uh, he's trying to get a cosh out of this, like, kind of cuff, you know what I mean? And, like, by that, Pinky, like, had my dad's flask in, in his hand and smashed it over his head, my dad's flask. And I, I, I banged one of them, you know, in the face, you know what I mean? We tried jumping through this fence, so that was, like, a gap, like, this big. And, like, we kind of, like, Pinky went one way, I went the other way to the train station, and sort of, like, like, Followed Pinky and like coshed him over the head, do you know what I mean? And like kind of like just ran off. And like kind of like Pinky come to the station, met us. He had a, he had a big like kind of like you know like bump on his head like the cartoons, you know like you know like it was quite quite he had curly hair anyway, Pinky didn't he? Mm. And it's like you're so old in it like that, it, it could have cracked your skull, do you know what I mean? Because you were in London doing graffiti and stuff, or you just in the wrong place at the wrong time? Wrong, wrong place at the wrong time. Yeah. There's motorway section. It this was. This was Edgware Road, this is where uh, my Grenfell Fire was, there, KPR's yeah. area, Shepherd's Bush. We just like kind of. Um, Good story. Yeah, it's like kind of like. We're lucky still though, here, mate. It's still uh, here. We're lucky though. I mean, Pinky, you know, could have got. Yeah, oh, absolutely, like, yeah. He, he could have gone the other way. Could, could have, you know, died, you know what I mean? Yeah, and yeah. Koshy's are real hard, aren't yeah, you? Yeah. Koshy's on the street. Yeah, yeah. That's what he had, a cop. And but Pinky come to the station like this, you know what I mean? Nah, you know what I mean? But his curly hair, I think, saved him. He had spongy hair, you know what I mean? He must have like spun it off or something, do you know what I mean? We're Still got, here to tell the tale. We got on the train, and there's loads of Chinese people taking photos of us, a full carriage full of Chinese people, kind of thing. And then the next carriage, they, they all got off, and loads of Newcastle United supporters got on. 
you know, it's one we've tried to get on, we still slap in our ribs off. London's like this, do you know what I mean? Yeah. You know, one minute there's like, you know, like loads of like kind of, you know, the same people that, because they're all like kind of tourists, aren't they? Yeah. And then there's like a, a game probably between QPR and Newcastle, and you get loads of Newcastle United supporters. And while that was at all happening, we were just kind of like, just, you know, I think we ended up with a spin off record. I think I went to spin off records that day. Yeah. And I got a. Richie Rich, Don't Be Flash. Yeah, so got one in there. Yeah, yeah, Don't Be Flash by <laughs> Richie Rich. You know, that, that's what it was like. You know, so I was still like looking for my records and that. But we went for tag belts as well. Yeah, yeah, I had a tag belt. I don't know where it went. I got, I'll tell you what I, what records we had. You know, they could have got, they could have taxed our records and everything. We had cameras, everything on us, you know what I mean? Look who we ran off when we did, you know, like, you know, from underneath the motorway arch, you know what I mean? You know, like, it's where we, where we ran off was like near the station, it was like kind of more people about and stuff. Uh, but I got criminal, criminal landed under yeah, the, yeah. the arm. Yeah, I remember seeing that at your flat yeah. on, on Orchard Park. Yeah, was it yeah. the man on his music one? 86, you know, it was the criminal landed at Yeah, the one with the... Um, 86, yeah. with uh, Bridges Over and stuff yeah. on and uh, P is free and all that. All. So I remember you had the, the, um, the yellow... Um, the yellow one, the oh, yellow one, yeah, I've got, got it in there. Yeah, I've got that music one. Music and something, it's yeah, called, it, it, Man and his music, innit? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember seeing that in, yeah, in yeah. your flat a lot. Yeah, yeah. So next question then, have yeah. you got any advice for younger writers? Hey, uh, younger writers. Just try and lab, try, try and lab it up a bit and, you know, like get out there and, hey, uh, if nobody's on your side, just sort of like, kind of like, you know, go out, you know what I mean? Just keep going out and don't expect just too much going. out of it. Just keep going, don't put too much pressure on yourself. Don't something. expect, yeah, don't expect too much out of it at first off, you know what I mean? You know, like, you're already somewhere, you're already doing something. Just enjoy the elements of hip hop and sort of don't, don't abuse it, you know what I mean? Yeah. You're not going to get like, you know, like, Loaded in, you know, I mean, you're not going to get lo loads of money just for going out. It's, it's up to you. You, you, you do it because you want to do it. You do it you know for the love, don't you? You do, it, you do it for the love of, of doing it, you know. You know, what I mean, you know, but it's, it's, a, it's a good way to sort of like start. It's just, uh, oh, I don't know. Um, we just did it. I think just do thing, it. We just did it. So it was a bit like. It's nice to have a group with you, isn't it? Yeah. It's nice to have a group of people. It's like, a bit of a collective, wasn't it? Everybody, yeah, yeah. So yeah. everybody had their own thing. We was lucky. There was quite a lot of us, weren't they, at the time? It was more like a youth movement, wasn't it, didn't it? I mean, uh, Bastion. It was like a youth movement. It was like kind of, it's our age group, wasn't it? And yeah. Everybody like kind of... No, no phones. Everybody knew where we was going to be. Mm. It's like a trend as well. It's like a, something that was coming in for us and like, you know, you had to like, kind of like, you know, kind of connect the, connect the pieces like a jigsaw. Like, so that like, kind of like, connected, you know, so it all worked, so it all like, become like a, 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 a piece, a, a sort of like a part of our uh, upbringing, do you know what I mean? But, I'm, you know what I mean, I'm, I'm, glad, I'm, I'm glad I got involved. I'm glad Absolutely. I'm glad Happy times. Mm. And mm. Roscoe has also asked me to ask you this, yeah. and I think it's a bit of a joke question, or it might not be late. Yeah. It says, are Old City going to win the league? No. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. No, I don't think they will. I don't okay. think they'll win I think the league. He was, I think he was. Um, I think they'll stay tongue up in there. cheek that one. Yeah, yeah. Did, did, right he, did, he, did he write the thing? Eh? Did he write it? Yeah. Hey, did he? Did he come up with that? He come up with okay. that, and I think he was just joking. He's a Leeds fan, isn't he? Yeah, he is. <laughs> and the road is falling down, falling down, falling down. Uh, so Lee, that's fab. Down. Excellent. Yeah. So it's really good to see you. Yeah, you too. I'm Matt. Yeah, Excellent. I love you, man. I know you too, man. Take it easy. <laughs>